Definitely, this is something very, very encouraging and new. And for our generations, almost anyone I have interacted with have watched for, uh, Odia film for the first time. So I was standing in the front of the huge poster of, of the film, which was put up in the Indian Habitat Center. And there were a couple of other films also. There was, I think, uh, Gajendra Ahire's uh, one Marathi film was there. A couple of other language films were also there. A package of three, four films in the uh, Habitat Film Festival. Uh, so I was looking at the poster of my film, I mean, just to see how it looks and uh, just staring at it and when the security guard came to me. He told me, sir, what are you looking at? So I said, no, I'm just looking at the poster. Then he said, don't look at this film. Then I said, why? He said, this is an Odia film, it's 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 an Odia film. So, see, this is the this is the hegemony, this is the notion we are fighting against. I can't blame them. It is the perception. It is the image that unfortunately we have created for ourselves. Firstly, uh, the film visually looks very engaging. Uh, and uh, as you were speaking about uh, breaking the linguistic barrier and all, the character of the films are also trying to do that. Uh, my question is, uh, why not a Mizoguchi maybe? Because it's a, it's a folk, like they have been doing this for a long time more, uh, like in narrative structure. So the penetration in terms of the better would have been, would have been better, as far as I, I think. Course. So why Godar as a filmmaker in your choice? A Godar who's intellectually, radically a different, he has a different aura altogether. He and a conservative rural Odisha village are two extremes of human civilization. Complete two extremes. So if we bombard these two extremes, then there will be a lot of friction. There will be a lot of contrast. And the humor comes from this contrast. In this film, for example, let me give a very funny uh, situation that we have been so what happened when we were shooting the film, we actually had to show Breathless to the same, to those villagers and they were sitting there watching Breathless for more than half an hour. And we could just see the patient's breath and how, you know, first it was excitement, then it was silence, then the silence grew intense, then there was a sense of anger and, you know, it, we were almost tracking the same trajectory as shown in the film. I said that I make films because I don't like films. It's not because I like films. I don't like watching the films that are being shown to me. So I want to change that. Therefore I make films. If I would have loved it, so I would have happily enjoyed it. Why would I do the trouble of making more? Right? So I did not like films. And now I don't want to see the films I may enjoy. Of course, Goodwill, I enjoy. Therefore I have watched Goodwill. And if I start watching films, I'll stop making films.